Red Star, that's what we like to see! Zvezda, Zvezda, let's go! Um, I'm, I'm really, really happy, guys. Obviously, this is... This is not something that... I mean, I did a prediction video on this group specifically. I said Bayern and Tottenham would easily make it through. I said Red Star is going to have a tough time. They have to beat Olympiacos at home. And look where we are, ladies and gentlemen. Richmond Boyke, my guy. I believe that's like five or six goals now in the Champions League, including the qualification period for Richmond Boyke. So... I'm nothing but happy. I'm nothing but happy. Thank goodness, though, uh, for the red card from Olympiacos because it changed the whole complexion of this game. Olympiacos, they were they were not dominant in possession necessarily. I mean, to that point, it had been 49-51 in Olympiacos' favor. But after that red card, two goals, one in the 87th minute, and then another one, Richmond Bokier tucking it away uh, to finally Finally, give Red Star the win that we need. Red Star, I, I mean, they suffered against Bayern, uh, which, I mean, we saw what Bayern could do against Tottenham earlier today, but we suffered against Bayern. The, the game itself was kind of tough because Bayern were just absolutely dominant in possession. They were dominant on the counterattack. They had the speed from Nabry and, and Lewandowski's finishing, so... That entire game was uh, uh, a little bit out of hand, especially from, from Red Star's perspective, but that was two weeks ago. This squad has done really, really well uh, in the in just in the league itself, and so coming into the Champions League, I had a little bit of confidence uh, for this squad to, you know, see what could be done, and guys, let's face it, this, this is probably the best Red Star has played in the Champions League yet. Olympiacos were a team who, realistically, they played really, really well against Tottenham in the first contest, uh, and they made it really hard on the Tottenham squad to essentially achieve anything. Uh, I think Ruben Semedo is a very good striker uh, in himself, so the fact that, I mean, he scored early on in the game, I thought uh, maybe Red Star are, are going to be in trouble, but but the defense, the defense was so, so good. Uh, the squad itself was absolutely amazing. Uh, and I just love, I know the fans are not going to get to go to Tottenham. But you, Zvezda fans, are unreal. I am, I'm, I'm, honestly, like, I, I, feel, I feel bad about sometimes the like, stadium closures or the fans that are not allowed to travel. But this is arguably one of the best fan groups. Them and, and definitely the fans from Turkey, from Galatasaray and Olympiacos, you guys were absolutely amazing. Uh, the atmosphere of this game, guys, gave me actual goosebumps. Like, I, I could, like... Just getting to essentially watch and listen to the atmosphere of this game compared to the one uh, in Tottenham Bayern, which I mean, albeit the Tottenham fans were losing, so there wasn't much noise, but the Red Star fans, this Red Star team, you guys were behind your squad the entire time, and all you had to do was wait. And, and although the waiting is the hardest part, the limbs, the absolute limbs, when, the, when that goal finally went in in the 87th minute, I was so happy. I was honestly beyond, beyond happy. And I cannot wait uh, to see what this Red Star squad is now able to achieve after finally getting a win and moving up to second in the group. Tottenham and Olympiacos are now stuck at one, uh, but Red Star, unfortunately, do have to go to the London Stadium next for against the Tottenham squad, who, albeit though, is not in very good form at all at the moment. So. There's a lot of progress that can be made here if Red Star in two weeks are able to get around. Actually, is it next weekend or is it two weeks? I can't, I can't quite remember uh, if the Champions League is going to take another two-week break or not. But uh, this Red Star squad was unbelievable in this game. Getting the red card in the 60th minute gave, gave them a lot more opportunities. 20 shots in total, 11 of those on target uh, compared to Olympiacos, who before uh, the red card had 12 shots in total, I believe six on target, and they ended with about 13 and seven on target. So they did still get more chances. Uh, but this this squad in itself from Red Star were, they, they, they pushed the agenda in in the second half specifically for about 30 minutes on. And I, guys, I, w I was gonna be okay with the draw. I wasn't gonna hate if it ended up 1-1. Uh, although I did think Red Star deserved it more and more and more. The, the, the Zvezda squad just kept pushing higher and higher and higher. Uh, up the pitch, and I was just waiting for maybe, you know, like a header or a set piece or something uh, to essentially peel it open, and then we got in the 87th minute, it was like serenity. It's just like this finally, this huge weight is lifted off of your shoulders, and you're able to finally enjoy the game once again, and, and to enjoy the result. That's the biggest thing uh, from this Champions League day, is that Zvezda can finally enjoy a result in the Champions League. Don't have to, you know, sit on the fact that they beat Liverpool at home last year, but this is becoming a stadium that, you know, might be, you know, something to be trifled with because the home fans always, you know, provide some sort of 
that some boost for the players, uh, and that's why I just it, it was amazing to watch. It honestly was amazing to to see how well this squad progressed uh, in this contest and to get to watch Red Star win in the Champions League once again. Um, but obviously, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts because it was an amazing, amazing game week uh, for this Red Star Belgrade squad. Obviously, uh, you know the next one against Tottenham, the next two I believe against Tottenham are going to be super, super difficult. So, uh, you know, three points on the board is super huge. I know it's only two games in, still four more to go. But if Red Star were able to qualify for the Champions League knockout rounds for the first time ever. I can't imagine. They, they would burn Belgrade to the ground. It would be unbelievable. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, you guys got to let me know your thoughts and probably your favorite game uh, of this, you know, of this Champions League match today down in the comments below. I have a feeling it's going to be the Tottenham Bayern Munich result for a lot of people. But yeah, you guys got to let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.